Good evening, everyone. Uh, so this is probably going to be the first video I do out of order of recording. Uh, I just finished recording a couple of other videos, and then I actually reminded myself what I originally wanted to talk about in the original recordings, and that is the first thoughts of the pre-patch. Um, I was actually going to hold off and wait until uh, we got closer to Shadowlands and they actually came out with the pre-patch event, but it's going to keep getting pushed back, so I'm not going to push back my recording that much. Um, I haven't played any of the, I guess, like, end game stuff. I haven't been running dungeons or obviously no raids. Uh, just kind of hanging out. Because it's been just a bit awkward uh, without the free patch of it. Um, I feel like I, I got all my my raiding and my uh, dungeoneer, like mythic plus dungeons, out of the way, so I would be somewhat geared and just prepared for the second zombie invasion of Azeroth, but it's not happening immediately. And you know what? I'm kind of fine with that, but it has left me in this awkward position where it's like. I don't even really want to like try out all the new class types and stuff because it all feels, you know, at least like with my farming and stuff, it all feels relatively normal. A few changes here and there, but I never really super cared about where I was on charts and things like that. Um, I played Disciplined Priest, uh, so I'm kind of used to being thrown about into the dirt and into the dust and just having to suffer with it or change classes. Uh, I do actually have another healer in case this one can't heal enough for what we need to do. And well, after some guild troubles, it's been a weird, it's been a weird last patch of an expansion. So, I it feels kind of weird to go through a pre, pre nah, to go through a pre patch and without an event, not really feel all that different. Um, obviously, with the levels changing and stuff, it there was that immediate feeling of different, and uh, got to start a whole bunch of new alts and tried Exiles Reach wasn't a huge fan, still kind of want to go back with a couple of just throwaways to try to get whatever mog I can, because uh, it is just technically a new mog, but, you know, I just wasn't a huge fan. It, like, I guess it, it, it is obviously attuned more to new players, but it is so attuned to new players that it kind of feels like a drag to go through it after playing for as long as I have. Uh, I think it might be different with the class I haven't played yet, but either way, it's, it's there. And honestly, I feel like that's kind of most of, of my thoughts on this original pre-patch is that it's there. It, some things have changed, some things have not. Some things feel a little bit better, some things do not. Especially not that AoE nerf. Uh, it's kind of killed my uh, my Dragon Soul farming. Uh, not being able to just clear, I guess, the back <laughs> in as fast as a time. Uh, but overall, it just it feels like wow. Uh, I know I'm not like super, I don't have like a whole bunch of thoughts on it, but it just kind of feels weird without like nothing really changing to really talk about. Um, and overall, Shadowlands hasn't been exactly thrilling for me. I mostly play for world building and, and lore and so many things are being changed and reconned and messed with because instead of trying to fix what is what is kind of slightly broken, they're just gonna throw it all away, start over again, 
and in all honesty, I'm already tired of Sylvanas being as powerful as she is. Uh, don't like characters that have this uh, this I can't be stopped level of power. Just because, especially in something like WoW, we've seen it so many times, this enemy that's just so powerful and can't be stopped ever. Uh, and so we gotta work together and then, you know, player characters go and stomp and because they're the true and power that can't be stopped and it just the cycle will continue with something else and you know something else somebody else will just get more and more powerful and then they can't be stopped and then we got to get more and more powerful and then we can't be stopped and it's just I feel like there is a time in every story to just kind of let the world breathe um, and go back, explore what has it been really explored or, you know, change some things. Like, uh, my, my current idea was to go and kind of go through like, especially like these old zones and stuff and see how they've, they've changed over the while. Obviously you still have uh, the bronze strikes that can take you back because we've learned that mistake before. But having something as simple as going back and seeing how like certain parts of uh, cataclysm areas have, have healed since the fall of Deathwing or something like that or actually have uh, the scars of war, I guess, is, the, is, a, a, is a way to describe it, show on the world. Um, and you know what? Gonna be blunt. If the war is over between the Alliance and the Horde, kind of show it. You can have just an arbitrary, you, you know, PvP uh, is in-game only, non-lore, uh, to to have that, uh, you know, we're not all, I just feel like it's weird to have, like, characters lore-wise essentially be multi-classers and then be like, uh, uh, but no, actually, you can only be one class. Like, we get that that's just, like, a thing that has to be a thing in the game, and it doesn't have to be a thing in the lore, so why not have things in the lore, <laughs> like, change properly instead of, and just agree that some things, some things are just gonna have to be mismatched because it's a game. Uh, so it's like, eh, but you know they wouldn't. That's the sad part. Is that like I feel like that's my my most reason of like why I'm so already done with Shadowlands is that it's the first expansion where I care more about the gameplay, which I I also haven't been following because I just I don't know. I'm just anyway. I've just I've been more focused on the gameplay than like the story, and that's like the first expansion I've done that for, and it feels weird to admit that, but honestly, I, I kind of don't care. And somebody's driving a really loud motorcycle. Hope that doesn't pick up. But I don't care about the story. I don't care about how how uh, how much big D energy Savannah's wind runner has. It's just kind of annoying at this point. Where, like, I maybe, I'll, I'll give it to anybody who's a fan of Savannah's, you know, I guess it's their time to shine, but to somebody who kind of likes her more as just like a, a background, you know, that, that more of a background looming threat that now that she gets to be out right in front, she's just so immensely powerful and unstoppable and I bet you it's probably just going to be one of those things where it's like ah but it's the jailer but honestly I'm tired of it <sighs> but I could have a full on rant about the story and I don't really feel like ranting completely even this has just been enough so I guess I'm still looking forward ish to Shadowlands uh, mostly for the gameplay pre-patch doesn't feel all that different, so I'm hoping it does feel significantly different once actual expansion drops, but for now, 
it's just kind of okay. Uh, I like some of the updates that they made for just, you know, uh, the ease of everything. Some of the leveling's better, obviously. You know, being faster leveling and stuff. But I'm just kind of neutral about the whole thing. Just kind of just waiting for the expansion. So, I'll let you all go and stay undead, and happy Halloween when that comes around. Hopefully I get this out by Halloween. <laughs> and, well, good evening.